In this video, we are going to learn about finding the mean of ungrouped data. First, let's talk about what ungrouped data is. Ungrouped data is either listed out for you so that you can see all the numbers in a list, or if there's a lot of duplication, the numbers might be in a frequency table that shows you how many times each of the same numbers were recorded. Ungrouped data as opposed to grouped data tells you all of the exact numbers in your data set. So that you know, for example, that the numbers were 3, 7, 8, and 9, as opposed to just knowing that there are four numbers between 0 and 10. So it's the difference between knowing the exact numbers and having the numbers grouped into sets for you where you don't know the actual exact numbers in each set. We can use our calculators to calculate the mean or the average, which can be helpful, especially if you want to do a lot of different work with the same set of data. So you don't want to have to keep typing in the same numbers again and again, or if you have a large set of data that you want to save easily. So let's look at an example. Here's a set of data, and we're going to learn how to use our calculator to enter in the data in order to compute the average or the mean. So what you're going to do is click the stat button and then go into edit and it's selected number one edit. That's where we want to go. So click enter again and you can see up top we have different lists. L1 is for list one. Then we have list two, list three. We're only going to work in list one for this example and we're just going to type in all of our data. So start by typing in 10 and click enter and then we're now down to the second row. So type in 14 and then click enter. And you'll just continue until you've entered in all of your data. So now I'm up to 31, 32, 32.4, and 37. Great. Now I'm going to go back to the stat button. And then once I do that this time, I'm going to go over to calc and select one variable statistics. And it says, what do I want to do this for? And it says list one. I want to leave it at that because I was with list one. So I can just go down now to calculate. And now I can get some data. The top piece of data is what I want, 23.12. This statistic, X bar, is telling us the average. So that's the th main thing we're going to be focusing on. That's what we were trying to figure out. So in this case, we just figured out that X bar was 23.12. So that was our average. There is some other information here. The second piece of statistic down there is the sum of all of the numbers. So it added up all of these numbers here. It also told us how many numbers there were. N equals 10. That's how many numbers there were. The other numbers you don't have to worry about right now, but it is interesting to use those three. You can see the average, the sum, and how many numbers there were. Now let's look at a second piece of data. For this data set, notice that there are many numbers that are repeated multiple times. So this would be a good time to use a frequency table, which is a table that lists each number only once, but then also says how many times the numbers appeared in the data set. So let's go back to stat and to our lists and clear list one for now. And in list one this time, we're going to enter in each number that's listed, but only once. And for any number that's listed more than once, we'll add in a second column to show how many times it was there. So first I'm just going to enter in 12 and then 14 and then 16, 18, 20, and 21. And those were all the different numbers in my list. Now I'm going to go over to list two and here I'm going to put how many times each number appeared. So 12 appeared two times. 14 also appeared two times. 16 appeared three times. 18 appeared only once. 20 appeared once and 21 appeared twice. 
Now in list three, what I'm going to do is tell list three to just be the product of list one and list two, because then the sum of all the numbers in list three will be the sum of our data set. So to do that, when it's your selected list three, you just want to type in list one times list two. To get list one, you have to do second and then one, and you see the little blue L1 above the one, now you've selected that, and then do times list two. Enter, and notice all the numbers got filled in. So you didn't need to do that multiplication yourself, it did it for you. Now when you have a frequency table like this, and you've also figured out the product of each number in your data set and the number of times it appeared, all you have to do to figure out the mean is figure out the sum of all of your entries in the third list and divide that by the sum of everything in the second list. Because the sum of everything in the second list tells you how many original data points that you had, and the sum in the third list tells you the sum of all of the original data points. So we have to figure out the sum of list three and divide that by the sum of list two. To compute sum, you can go into the catalog and find the sum function and it will do it for you. So what you do is click, click second and then zero to get catalog and scroll down until you see sum. Once you find sum, we can figure out the sum of list three and we get an answer of 180. Then we want to do the same thing and find the sum of list two and divide those. Once we have both our sums, we can divide them and that gives us our mean or our average. Now there was one other way that we could have do, done this without having to create that third list. So if we go back into our list, we can see list one and list two. There is a way to figure out the average just given list one and list two in the frequency table way like this. What you do is go into second stat so that you're in list, scroll over to math, oops, and scroll down to mean, and then we want to find the mean of list one comma list two. And we, when we do that, we see that we get the same exact mean. So that's another way that you could figure out the mean with your calculator if you have your data in a frequency table situation.